My name's Marion Hume. I'm a fashion journalist and I have been both interested and passionate in the ethics of fashion and making fashion more fair for 25 years. But I can say that 25 years ago, there were very few kind of lone voices in the dark. And what Fashion Revolution has done is actually make revolution fashionable. The business that we love needs to be fair and that we need to consider in the purchases that we make, whether we're buying a beautiful Hermes Birkin if we're in that level or whether we're buying a gorgeous dress we adore for summer in the high street. We need to consider the person that makes those clothes or more specifically the woman that makes those clothes because it nearly always is a woman. And we need to think when we buy that there is something in that purchase price that goes to a woman who is just like us and, you know, has a, a life to live that deserves to be lived in a proper way. She deserves to be free to feel that she can go to work and be safe and earn a living that is enough to pay for the needs of her family and not just the, the critical needs of what am I going to eat tonight, but enough so that she can put something by for the education of her children or for health care, so that the woman that makes the clothes that we love can herself have a life that she loves. And what Fashion Revolution has done is gather us all together to make that possible. If you are going to try and have a revolution, you need to have a very simple message. And the message of today was traceability, that we have to know where our clothes come from, from the raw materials and the components to the factory, to the store, to when they reach our backs. And it is ridiculous that we don't know. And it is ridiculous that when Rana Plaza collapsed, we all know that there were those labels, we saw their labels lying in the rubble and we were horrified to see that labels that we love, that we have in our wardrobes, were producing clothes in a factory that was so unsafe that it collapsed and killed over a thousand people. But what was so striking today, to me, was not about those brands, but about the fact that so many other brands in the weeks after Rana Plaza genuinely did not know if they were producing clothes in that factory because they do not know the traceability of their supply chain. And that is something simple and actually relatively easy to change. Although everything in fashion is very complex, to decide as a company that you will trace from the beginning to the end is a responsibility that every company in fashion must have, whether they are Chanel or Topshop, that everybody that makes clothes must be able to trace where they come from so that those companies can feel secure that no woman is harmed in the making of the clothes and so that we as consumers can wear those clothes with all the joy that we embrace fashion.